G'day guys, Will Kitching here. Welcome back to another video and thanks so much for joining us. Now, as you would see from the title, this is not a fishing video, but it's fishing related. So I was lucky enough to be invited down to the AFTER 2022 trade show on the Gold Coast over the weekend from uh, the magazine that I write for. They gave me a media pass and I thought I may as well take along my camera and show you guys some of the new products and some of the really cool things that are down at the show there. Along the way, I caught up with some familiar faces and talked to some new people about the products. So I hope you find this really interesting. And uh, yeah, I couldn't get around to everyone, but hopefully it's uh, helpful for you guys and some of the products were really, really cool. Let's get straight into it, but don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for plenty more fishing videos to come. I'll see you when I get inside there. So this whole area is Shimano, popular brand. So um, we'll go get a close up of some of the rods, reels, lures, all that sort of stuff. Well, he's originally out of England. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm at the Shimano stand at the moment. At this show there has been so many lures as you would expect, like as far as the eye can see, but one that's really caught my eye are the new ones from Shimano. Now I really hope you can see it, but while it's just sitting still, it's got a really nice shimmer on it. So there's actually a bit of flashy, uh, I don't know what it is actually, sort of membrane inside that moves. And uh, while that's on the pause, it's gonna look like it's shimmering and it just looks insane. And even just the profile of the stick baits just look like lollies for tuna and urethes on the flats, um, mackerel, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I'll show you the other ones too. So we've got a white one. Hopefully you can see that movement inside as it's sitting still. That's crazy. Obviously some more colors here. Flash boost, that's what they're called. All right, so you guys would have seen this face on my channel before. Benny? How are you, mate? Good to see you, mate. You, <laughs> you would have seen us catching some fish before, but we're at the Catch Fishing Tackle stand today at the AFTER 2022 show. And uh, we're about to hopefully catch a dolphin fish. You'll see that in a second. Um, but yeah, we got Ben here and He's going to show us some lures that he's been using for snapper from catch. So yeah, so the little squid wings. This is a cracker of a lure. This thing here you can jig with, you can cast and retrieve. It's an all-in-one. Um, you can just tie that thing on and go for gold. Basically, yeah. catches anything. Yeah. Um, Kabura-style jigs, which we got over here on the wall. Follow us over this way. So we've got all the smaller ones, right from like these are only 10.6 grams. All the way down, 60 grams, 80 grams, 100 grams. Um, let's move along the wall a bit, Will. Yeah, plenty They've of soft plastics. Soft well. plastics, liveys. The interesting thing here is the jig heads. You can see the jig heads are offset and a little curve underneath. We've also got the keeper there, the little hook to keep the plastic on so when it gets pulled, it doesn't get ripped off. You know, that's something I've noticed at the show. Like you could walk around and go, oh, that's just a jig head or that's just another plastic. But when you actually start talking to the guys, you notice the finer details and the yep. purpose of them. Like, as yeah. you said, I could have looked at that and gone, just another jig just head. Another jig head. Yeah. 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 Well, these so, guys yeah. put a lot into it, um, a lot of yep. research. They're not just making something and, and smacking it out there. Yeah. They, they get a product, they test it, they catch fish on yep. it. Little things like that make the difference. So um, yeah, the whole range of gears, Yep. really good. And the good thing about catch is obviously they're a New Zealand brand so they're targeting you know your snapper and kingfish as everyone knows. So for us snapper fishermen over here you know the same things work so it's really interesting seeing all the, all the lures but anyway, different innovations. All right Will. We're gonna jump on this machine yeah. and try and catch a dolphin simulator. fish. simulator. <laughs> there we go. He's on. <laughs> you reckon it feels pretty real? Yeah it actually does. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't think it would be that real. <laughs> How are we going there? 15 metres of line 15 out. Meters? It's mate, coming around. Benny, get the gaff ready. I'll get the gaff. <laughs> Don't call it early, mate. Don't call it early. 
It's looking good. Yeah. I just saw it, maybe. <laughs> Ready, Ben Green? <laughs> Three. Three meters. Almost. Come on. Grab the gaff, you reckon? Yeah, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> got him. You got him. <laughs> How was that? Beautiful. That's awesome, mate. I'm sweating now, jeez. You can really put um, the hurt so on him. That was only a little fish. That was a little fish. We yeah. got <laughs> <laughs> a 200 kilo king of There you go. Oh. Time elapsed. How much drag? 51. You're only using 16 pounds of drag, mate. Yeah. And, you, and you were sweating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That was good. So I'm just going to walk over to the pure fishing stand here. So I'm looking at their brands on the wall and they run Penn, Berkeley, Abu Garcia, Ugly Stick, Plano, and a few more. Um, but a really cool thing they have here is a display. It's a tank of water where you can actually test lures. So I'll get one of them to swim some of their lures in it and uh, yeah, get a really cool video for you guys. That's insane. <laughs> Wanna be relevant. <laughs> That has such a nice roll on it, hey? So I'm not sure if I've told anyone yet whether it'll come out after this video or not, but I actually won a competition from Penn just the other day. I won one of these Penn Slammer 4s, uh, 5,500. And they are absolutely insane, but Penn have just released their new authority reels as well. And, uh, yeah. Similar, but uh, more waterproof apparently. So, yeah, really awesome. So, another popular part of the show is the Shimano Barra tank or lure testing tank. So, as you can see, live Barra, happy as Larry in there. And someone will stand up there on that casting platform and you can watch the fish react to the lures and you know bite them or whatever watch the lures in action so yeah that's awesome very popular this is the main stage hey guys Curtis here from Halco Tackle catching up with Will having a, a look at our brand new TB55 and we're pretty excited about this one those with a keen eye will see that it resembles the original Tilson bass now the difference between this and a Tilson bass is these ones are plastic whilst the Tilson bass is made of wood Tilson bass caught a lot of fish for a long time, uh, but the problem these days with that is we can't get wood with the same consistency, so one will sink, one will float. So we've remade the exact same lure in plastic and now we can get it exactly right every single time. So these come in a range of different colours, there's some original bass style colours, there's some new stuff as well, um, and it's got all the modern technologies of your latest Halco, so it's an absolute ripper, check them out. Alright guys, so as you would have seen, I'm at the Tackle Tactic spot now. I'm with Justin Wilmer. You may have seen him before on Facebook and you know doing some advertising and stuff for Tackle Tactics, but we're both really excited about these new soft plastics from the Z-Man range. So uh, Justin, what do you got there? That looks absolutely unreal. We are pretty pumped on this one. This is the two and a half inch prawns. So a two and a half inch prawn profile. Nice solid area in the front section here so it'll hold the jig head well and then that thinner tail section so plenty of movement realistic profile and these legs on the side that are designed so on a hidden weight or on a, a light jig head you can parachute it in keep it around the rocks and the pontoons don't sink it too fast 
otherwise we can trim them off and get that real good tail kick in it and glide. So two and a half inch prawns, check them out. Perfect. All right, I'm down now at the Swell Outdoor Solutions tent and you guys probably all know this guy, Liam Fitzpatrick from South East Queensland as well and makes awesome YouTube videos. They're playing in the background. So I'll leave a link to his channel below, but you're probably already subscribed. But something I've noticed from watching his videos is you use lose reels, don't you? But not many people in Australia seem to know about them or where to get them. So uh, do you want to have a bit of a talk about you know what you like about them? Mate, I've been running lose for the past five years now. First thing I can tell you is they do not let you down. Like I have not had one issue with any of my gear. I'll get in there and you know oil bearings, look after my gear, clean them up, but I have not had one malfunction with any of the components. They're built tough, yep. they last. I don't know why more people haven't got them in their hands just yet. Yeah. But like I said, we're on the Swell Outdoor stand. We've got all the lose gear, we've got the Exxon products, um, you know, Carl Jockinson and uh, Brandon Polnick are using that stuff overseas. I've just started fishing that for my flathead and you know, using a bit of that gear. But yeah. Always run loose. They got spin reels. You've got stuff from entry level right up to your, your high end. They got the new hyper mags come out. Awesome. You've got BB1 like inshore stuff. You know, built for salt water use. You've got right up to the top of the range magnesium stuff. Like loose have been around since uh, 1954 in the states. Like yeah, wow. they were the first company that pioneered that low profile bait caster style. You know, yeah. that majority of companies now yeah. replicate. But yeah, yeah. loose reels. Awesome product. Heap of stuff coming in, yeah. heap of stuff getting out there, getting a uh, yeah, good bit yeah. of feedback here at the trade show, so yeah. yeah, good things to come. Very interesting, so yeah, make sure you check them out, Swell Outdoors and the Lose Reels, because yeah, as you can see, Liam gets some unreal fish and he rates them, so yeah, anyway, thanks for talking to us, mate. Cheers, man. Cheers. Enjoy yeah. the show. Okay, so as I've been walking around the show here, you may have noticed already from my videos that not everything is about the fishing gear, there's plenty of other cool products here, and this has been a really popular one, especially for the beer drinkers, but you can use it for any drink really. So, it's beer bung. So, tell us a little bit about the product and the funny story of how you came up with it. So, well, it's a COVID story. We bought a boat <laughs> in COVID and we had 18 rod holders on the boat and nowhere to put a drink. So I'm out there with a beer and I'm going, where do I put my beer? <laughs> Spill my beer and I'm like, and then Jamie yep. um, is also involved in it and he was on the boat and he came up with the name Beer Bung and yep. then the design came around and there you go, you just yeah. put in an angled rod holder, yeah. holds beers, coffees, yeah. waters, yeah. champagne bottles, whatever oh, you want. Awesome. And it's, yeah. It floats, it fits yep. kayaks, yep. which is another one. True it's that. a really yeah. big one. Yeah. And uh, also the stubby holder yep. too. So. Can't go wrong with yeah. that. So I've already grabbed one, so we don't have cup holders on the boat. So yeah, now that I have that, when I'm fighting a fish, I can quickly chuck the can of coke in there and keep fighting. But um, mate, Keep going with the product, I'll shake your hand. I'm not trying to take another one. <laughs> you can have one. You can have one. No, sure. good. But yeah, no, check them out, beer bun. All right, so I'm here at the Ocean's Legacy stand now with Alan, and they have a really cool product. It's a, is it a sort of a snap so got, It's like a snap tool, but it's not a snap tool. It's um, one of those really high tensile stainless steel um, clips that you can't open up your hand, you gotta twist it on. I'll give you a close up. So a lot of guys obviously don't like clips, but the, the quality of this this um, product with the stainless steel made in Taiwan, you can just clip it on this way on your stick bait. You can hear the recoil value of this of, of the product, and it never ever leaves a gap. So that 40 is rated to 260 pounds. So you'd be guaranteed to land that big G, big bluefin without having any issues. And we do them as small as size five, which is still rated to um, 24 pounds. So give them a try. Perfect. Thanks very much, Alan. You're welcome. So, as you guys can probably tell, I've been around to a few brands now. There's a couple more that I want to show you that are interesting. I'm definitely not going to get around to all of them today. There is so much here. But um, anyway, I'll go to a couple more. I hope you've been enjoying it so far and finding these products as interesting as I have. So, uh, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, comment on the video if you have any questions or, uh, you know, you want to know anything about what I've seen um, and share it with your mates as well. But yeah, we'll keep walking and find something else to look at. So the fads that we have off the east coast here, this is what they look like out of the water. It's actually pretty big when you stand next to one. Yeah, that's what to look for out there. So now I'm over at the chase bait stand and they always have some interesting lures. So I'll show you a few of those and even swim one in the tank there, which is uh, always pretty interesting to see how the lures work under the water, you see what the fish are seeing. So let's get in there and have a look. 
One of my favourite stands here has actually been one of the ones that's not a huge name brand. So, your outdoor experience stand is what it's called. And the reason I like it is a lot of their lures are not there to be gimmicky, they're just there to work by the looks of it. So, they're very practical and we're going to have a look at them now. Um, check out some plastics, vibes, all that sort of stuff. Very handy having those weedless hooks there, the doubles instead of the trebles. Very nice. They say, well, what's the difference between you and I? And I said, I know when I go out, if I don't catch fish, I've still had a good day. Yeah. You haven't worked it out yet, mate. Right, so I'm standing here with Glyn from your outdoor experience. And uh, this lure is different to any of the other ones that I've seen here today. So it's a bit exciting, mate. Do you want to tell us about it? Oh, it just arrived in last month. It's made by a company called ISM or ISM. Yep. It's called a Zorro 45S. Yep. It's a jointed vibe, which also has a little tail spinner. So you can work it like a tail spinner where you can hop it and it'll flutter down. Then you can also just slow roll it like a vibe. And because of that joint, you can get the tail spinner going and it's it doesn't wreck the motion of that the vibe action and it, yeah it looks really yep. good we've only just gotten them and they're going really well that's awesome come in 10 different colors so these guys are local to my area as well so it's pretty cool to see them down here and uh i really like their products so make sure you check them out and uh yeah get onto these as well if you're a freshwater fisher right cheers awesome. for your time Matt. Thanks. Yeah, mate thank you all right so now i'm at one of the most popular stands at the whole show I'm at the Northern Tide Apparel Stand. You guys have come all the way from Darwin and I think this is a great idea. They've made the first ever fishing dress just for women. So uh, yeah, great idea, you've been so popular. For all you women out there that are anglers, you're gonna absolutely love this and even the guys watching, it's a great gift idea for your uh, partners or daughters or mothers, you never know. So uh, how about you tell us a little bit about uh, how it started and what the products are? Thanks Will, how are you doing? So we invented, yep, the first fishing dress. It's um, It's gone pretty well over the last 15 months. We do a jersey dress, which is um, a UPF 50 plus protection um, in a range of colours, um, matching kits as well. And then there's also the fishing shirt dress. So again, a range of colours and a matching kits range. These are UPF 50 plus as well. Well, that brings us to the end of the video. Sadly, I didn't get around to all the stalls that I wanted to, but I did have a bit of limited time to do so. But hopefully what you saw you enjoyed and uh, you found it pretty interesting. I definitely did. It was an eye opener. It's the first time I've been and there were so many products, so many new people, um, some old faces there that I got to catch up with, which was good. Um, but yeah, really, really fun couple of days. If you watch this long, you're a legend and uh, yeah. I really appreciate you guys. All right, until next time, tight lines and happy fishing.